If you're getting tired of these Russian helmet tests, you'll be happy to hear that there are only a few left after this one. I've now shot just about every relevant Russian ballistic helmet ever made, but now I've got to finish off with the most ridiculously expensive ones, and those are the modern Russian Spitsnaz helmets. The first helmet among them is the Kivra RSP. These helmets have been used by the FSB for just shy of a decade now, and can also be seen in use by Russian army sappers. Unfortunately, the Kivra RSP has an infamous reputation among FSB officers for having very poor ballistic qualities, with rumors of early RSP helmets being unable to stop 9x18 Makarov rounds despite the Gauss 1 Plus rating. The helmet itself flares out just wide enough to accommodate the ear protection, and is complete with arc rails and a night vision mount. The reason why I mention this is because the early versions of the Kivra seen here seem to use Seston Bush Brown mounts and rails that are made in Croatia. The helmet I'll be testing is the RSPM that has the newer rails and mount. Let's get right into it. First with some ordinary 9x19 FMJ rounds that have a Glock 17. This shot landed an inch higher off the brim and was deflected downward into the user. This is a pretty ugly show, and a lot of better helmets are capable of stopping hits to the edge like this. But this hit wouldn't be considered a fair hit by NIJ standards, as it's closer than 5 centimeters from the edge. Let's try again. This hit is definitely fair and is handily absorbed by the killer with no serious deformation, so the helmet at least meets Gost 1 Plus standard as advertised. Let's test for deformation with some basic 45 hollow point rounds. These rounds are weaker than the super velocity ammo that I used against the army helmets, but are still quite respectable. Did you see that bit of copper go off to the left? Well, the entire rear section is absolutely crunched. The deformation isn't pretty either, and I think it's reasonable to assume that this would be a very significant, if not fatal, head injury. For a helmet that weighs about as much as an ACH helmet, this is an extremely disappointing result. The old school Kiver M that we tested was issued almost 30 years prior to today's date, yet it offers far superior protection. However, the Kiver RSP is being phased out in favor of more modern options like the Classcom Tor or the Omricom 1 Plus helmet, both of which we will be testing soon. These helmets are extremely expensive and difficult to acquire. I had no sponsorship support for this video, and these extremely modern helmets have been paid for by donations from generous viewers like you. I hope I can continue to count on that support in the future. Consider donating to my Patreon or my coffee. I'd really like to test Russian ballistic shields and frag suits, but I can't do it without further funding.